Okay, some work I did uh, going around the backyard. This is going down the side of the house. We've got some compacting in Dina. Works real well in this area where I needed something narrow, tall. And then I have some Natchez crepe myrtle. And then we'll go to some lavender formosa azalea. And the driveway is here to my left. Another path light. Parson I Jennifer. What I did here is try to separate the yard, backyard from the access area drive. And it just winds on around. And we have kind of an outdoor pavilion type thing under here. TV, put down some flagstone, a little concrete here, we got a little bar so to speak, kind of goes on out here, little sink area, gas grill, and I also have charcoal grill, let's see if it's dark, not that, there you go. Got exposed rafters here, rough cut cedar, and uh, tongue and groove pine. And I have lights that shoot up in there at night, it looks cool. And then we're going out this way. Extended the concrete out in the patio area here. Fireplace area. And I got more parsley out of Jennifer with some uh, dwarf palmetto palm. Sweet bay. Magnolia. And then some deciduous this time of year. They're Anthony Water Spirea. They look good. They flower real well in the spring. Balance this side. More of the same plant material. And we'll go from concrete to flagstone. More path lights. Some knockout rows. And then all these trees I have accent lights up in. LED fixtures, so they're real uh, efficient. And then we have another little area here with some stained concrete fire pit. And we've got another little patio on the back side of the fireplace. Just a regular flagstone. And this looks out over the back pasture. Find a bunch of different kinds of oak trees right in here. Not all oaks. Green ashes. And I have some more Natchez crepe myrtle and a villa surrounding this area sort of separates you from the pasture and all but it doesn't just wall you off so you don't feel like you're just you know walled off from the area but yet it kind of makes it more personable up here over there in the distance some cryptomeria sort of separates the yard from the service area over there where I got my barn all my stuff And then out here, these little round things are some steel targets. Shoot them, pistol shoot. Kind of neat when you hit them, they make a thing. Pretty cool. And on this hill, put kind of an ensemble of junipers. And uh, stuff like that looks pretty cool. And that's a type of holly. And then some more juniper. 
and some Blue Point Jennifer, and then um, Arizona Cypress. Just kind of neat to have it over here on this other hill, sort of as a focal point. This light's not showing up so good. We're on a cloudy day, but it is what it is.